React state lifting. It is a simple solution to pass data between child and parent. You may be thinking about the Redux, but this is a, a simpler solution where we you pass the state values to the closest ancestor. What are we covering? We are first of all creating a functional component, uh, passing a value to the function component via props, and then sharing the state variables between parent and child using the state lifting method. So state, uh, this is my example page. Yeah and i created an example directory into my pages and as well i will create an example directory under my components directory so let's create a new directory called the example so we can add all of our example components here and create a new component called the child input.tsx so let's add a boilerplate code of and change the capitalization into pascal case and uh, the, now your child component is ready to import into your page so i'm importing the child component from my example components directory and uh, just rendering with a simple tailwind css you can use whatever css map uh, you like but i'm using tailwind just for ease of use and uh, adding few of the background colors to distinguish my child component from the background this is a very basic simple css where you change the width and height of the component and this few background colors here is what my child component looks like you can add few of the uh, parameters and uh, play with that and uh, leave a sub few shadow so it will looks good and uh, the next most important thing is passing the prop value so i'm just passing a text and uh, i need to receive this via prop and uh, i need to create a child prop type because i'm using typescript and uh, my value is just a simple type of string so i'm now ready to render this value instead of using the props component you can also destructure it just like this and your value will be displayed as before now coming into the interesting part now let's move to the interesting part where we want to shift the value back to the parent so the problem is that whatever value we get from our parent we want to change the value in the child and return back to the parent I added few of my stylings and uh, bind the value now if you see the value will not change because it is bind to the parent input value so here we want to do few things first of all let's use the use state so that we can change the value in the parent so we pass the value from the use state variable and uh, whenever the value is changing into the child we want to set the new value so this is what we want to do so we will have to add one more prop into our prop type which is handle the change and this handle change will accept a function of type event so let's pass these values from parent to the child so how we are going to achieve this we are just using the handle change prop which we just created this prop is accepting an argument of type change event and return type is void so we can test this function here locally where e is a type of react dot change event and the in html input element type event and we can console log this value from e dot target dot value and we see that everything is printed onto the console so we can simply replace this with our uh, locally created handle change event which is changing the state value as well using the use state hook and whatever you change here will be affected into the parent state and you can also use this with the value of method or simple the value and you can simply uh, use this to pass the variable back to the parent so that's all for today's tutorial please hit a like and subscribe button and let me know if you want to uh, more videos of like this so that's all for today's tutorial please uh, also check the description for the playlist uh, of this tutorial series thank you